What's up, fight fans? This is Kirk Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Anthony A.J. Joshua. This video is to address, to counterpunch, the P.E.D. accusations that has been rumored around the internet about Anthony Joshua. Now, I've seen a couple... Uh, opinions about Anthony and his steroid use and what people feel and this, that, and the other. And, you know, a lot of people, and I'm not the only one, of course, uh, was surprised that Anthony Joshua did go 12 rounds without showing signs of fatigue. Okay. And a lot of people, you know, tied that in, equated that particular concept with the fact of using steroids. Well, let me counterpunch everything concerning Anthony Joshua, okay? First off, if Anthony Joshua was juicing, okay? If he was juicing in his early, earlier days when he was just knocking out everybody and knocking people and running through people, right? If he was juicing at that time, then why would he get tired at that time? Counterpunch. See, a lot of people looked at his stamina. They said he was too big. The muscles or they need too much oxygen, you know, to supply his body's need to keep the energy thereof because muscles are a responsibility, right? So, you know, um, if he was juicing like everybody thought, then why did he get tired? You know, as opposed to now, he didn't really get tired. But I think Anthony Joshua, given the way he fought, OK, mm -hmm. he, in fact, paced himself more strategically in this fight because he knew he had less to worry about. See, with Alexander Usyk, those two fights with him, Alexander made him like he makes other people and everybody he fights exhausted. He makes them work. He makes them overwork. See, he doesn't get tired. The other guy gets tired. So saying that, Anthony Joshua got tired like he always does. Where there's Jermaine Franklin, Jermaine Franklin stayed out in the pocket to wait for his uh, opportunities to get in. So he really didn't work, AJ. Or better yet, he didn't make AJ work, right? <laughs> I think that's a better saying, but um, as far as the rumors go, uh, it means nothing to me than a person that's trying to get clout off of talking smack about Anthony Joshua. That's easy. You know, a lot of people's channel has came up talking smack about a particular fighter. I've seen that over the years. Okay. They've, they, they've totally aligned their stars by talking shit at the next person. And in this case, with this particular YouTuber, it's Anthony Joshua. That's the target. It's right in between his eyes and he is out to get AJ. Okay. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no proof to it. There's no source. It's just some man sitting back thinking on how can I get subscribers? How can I get buzz? How can I get attention? I know. Let me blast and make up some bullshit about one of the highest paid boxers around and says that he has failed a drug test. Plain and simple, people. Someone just trying to get attention. Someone that's trying to get some clout. Someone that's trying to create some buzz. Nothing more, nothing less. And this is my motto about any fighter or any athlete, okay? They are innocent until they pop dirty, <laughs> right? And as of right now, Anthony Joshua has not popped dirty. So I say leave it be. OK, if it doesn't apply, let it fly bars. OK, so there's nothing to this people. Relax. It's false hoax BS. Fraud, right? Propaganda. Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. <laughs> but anyway, you guys tell me what you think about the counterpunch on Anthony Joshua. 
supposedly, allegedly, out of thin air, pop dirty in his latest fight with Jermaine Franklin. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.